Hello, in this lecture we're going to troubleshoot some problems that could happen with the master budget. Now, of course, this is a long process, and if we get to the end of the budgeting process being the balance sheet and it's out of balance, that could happen. And the question is, how do we go through there and find out what is wrong? And uh, one, one way we could do this is we could actually try to basically journalize and record the transactions and thereby recording the debits and credits as we go. And that could uh, help us to see where we could be out of balance. So in order to do that, if we wanted to take that approach, we could set up basically a trial balance based on what we have here. So in this problem, we were given a balance sheet here. We can journalize from the balance sheet and try to journalize this activity to get to the ending number. So let me try to just give an introduction to what that might look like. So if, if I'm, I'm just going to hide some cells over here, I'm going to right click and hide these cells so that I can have this trial balance. And I'm, I'm not going to re-input the, the numbers, but basically you're just going to take the balance sheet and you're going to put it into trial balance format. And that means removing the subtotals and putting, I'm going to put credits as negative so that it'll balance in that way. So for example, I'm just going to go straight down through here. Cash is going to be 40,000, accounts receivable 342, 248, raw materials 98.5, and then finished goods inventory 25, uh, 325.540. And then if I want to check my subtotals, it adds up to 108, 288, 108, 288. So we're on track. And then we're going to go to the uh, equipment, 600,000, less accumulated depreciation. That's a credit of a negative. I'm going to put it in as a negative, 150,000. I'm going to have my credits be negatives. And then uh, we get to the total property plant equipment and the total assets. So then I'm going to highlight these. And... Um, I'm off here, so what do we have? 1 million, no I'm not, 1 million uh, 256, so we're correct. Okay, so then we're going to keep going. We are on the liabilities, so these are going to be credits, so I'm going to represent it as a negative 200, uh, 205 for accounts payable, and then we have a negative 12 short-term liability, and again, if I add those two up, adds up to uh, 212.5. So that's the 2125 subtotal. And then we've got a long-term liability, 500,000. Not gonna put in the subtotal. But if I added up all the liabilities, not including the uh, accumulated depreciation, 7125, 7125, so we're on track. Then the long-term, no, actually, this one needs to be down here. I'm gonna add an account for income tax payable, which we will need at a later time. So then we have the common stock. I'm going to make this blue because this is the capital account. So those are in the middle. So sometimes I like to just show the fact that this is the, just the differing point between the balance sheet and the income statements. So there's the capital retained earnings 208788 and no dividends. Now we're at zeros, meaning the debits minus the credits now equal zero. So we are in balance at that time. So then what I'll typically do is then say that we want the ending balance over here. So I'm going to say that ending balance is going to equal 